is looking deep down the left side. Mendel into the end zone. Touchdown! Pointing to the house. And the players streaming from the sideline to celebrate with 17 seconds left. Hi, welcome everybody to another episode of B Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. It is Thursday, September 10th, 2015. Earlier today on Beef City Live, Zach Ewing and myself were joined by Stan Green. He is the Director of Student Services and Activities for the Kern High School District. Stan came on the show because we wanted to talk to him a little bit more about the decision that the district made about pushing the freshman games tonight and the JV games tomorrow to 6 p.m. from the uh, normal start time of 5 p.m. because of weather conditions. The forecast is right around 103, 104 degrees tomorrow. The air quality obviously isn't that great, as everybody knows. And so we wanted to talk to him about the decision to do that, why, and obviously it's because of the safety, but here is what Stan Green had to say. It's been a long week for you already, I know, because we have this heat in the forecast, and y'all made the decision yesterday to, to, to delay freshman games tonight and JV games tomorrow back an hour, which will, of course, delay the varsity games at least 45 minutes or so on Friday nights, and we'll see. Uh, what all goes into that decision? And I know there's a guideline you have to follow for – air quality index and for heat and if the temperature is x you have to do y uh but trying to do that two or three days in advance is a challenge i know what what goes into those discussions and how many people are involved well there's a lot of people involved and honestly you know what happened this time was uh we saw the projections we knew about the rough fire up by hume lake in mm -hmm. that area we knew we were going to have potential issues there i had spoken to a couple of our ad's and they'd already expressed a, a big concern for our student safety and so once I had a input from a few of the ADs, they had already moved their games, a couple of them. So we just felt like, you know what, let's just let's just be conservative and let's move them all right now. Great stuff there from Green. We also talked to him a little bit more about the idea of since the state's going to 13 state championships where every section champ in the state moves on to a regional game rather than waiting for a committee much like Wasco had to in 2012 and Kennedy winning the D6 title didn't move on last year. Now everybody gets a chance. What's the likelihood of the central section moving to having maybe more than one location and having a neutral site, per se, for the section championships? So a nice conversation between Zach, Stan Green, and myself. Direction, I think it's great for football in the state of California. Um, you know, we've also bounced around a couple ideas at the local level in the central section of maybe doing two nights of Valley Championship games. So, for example... The, the original preliminary discussion was to mirror the state. So I think Division Two was on Friday. Division One and Three were Saturday. So they, right. there was some discussion of Friday night, Division Two, Four, and Six would play, and Saturday One, Three, and yeah. Open or what have you would play. Sure. So we could see more games, you know. And, and I've I've, I've been a fan of that that I've that I've thought about for a while. <laughs> um, why not have a North section, a Fresno Clovis location, a Hanford Visalia location, a Bakersfield location, and have all three of them open and then just adjust it to whoever is the higher seed. And so say a D4 team from Fresno is hosting, you put them up there. Uh, say, you know, Kennedy and D6 is hosting, you put it down here. And then just supplant those games specifically to match the home team and then keep it as such. Yeah, you know... I know there, it's a great idea. I think it is, too. You know, there was a push to make it a single venue, which I'm not a fan of. And uh, one of the reasons I'm not a fan of is it, it takes money away from our schools. You know, our schools could make six, eight, nine thousand dollars $9,000 off their snack bar alone, which goes directly back to our students sure. for hosting a game. But I am a fan of what you just said. Um, fact is that I think it was that first year that I had this job... We had BHS was home, Ridgeview is home, and Garces was home in Division One, Two, II, and Three, and I really wanted to see all three games. It's always great to have them on the show. So once again, we're appreciative of that. And short docket of sports today around the area: girls tennis, Frontier beat Tehachapi, and then the SWIL girls golf meet number three of the season out at Sundale. It was Stockdale's Lexi Keen. She won the event with a one under seventy-two. And then Taitlin Alvarez from Liberty came in second with a 79. And a reminder, live right here once again tomorrow night, B Varsity game night starts with Vance Palman Studio starting at 7 p.m. right here at Bakersfield.com. 
Vance will be joined by Zach Ewing this week. Zach will be in the office tonight. So the two of them will have the extended pregame show, obviously because the varsity games likely won't start till about 8.30 tomorrow night. So they'll be able to look big picture in the week that is. A few great games on the docket, obviously. Our feature game, our game of the week, is Frontier at Independence. Both teams with just one game under their belt. Frontier had a great game in the 36-30 loss in opening weekend to Ridgeview on the road. Then Independence opened up with a loss last week against Royal Grande. So both teams looking to get that first win of the season. We'll have that live for you. And then also I'll be out at number 21. Chavez is at West. Two teams, both Without a loss this season, it'll be very intriguing to see how those two teams go at it. I'll have video highlights throughout the night from that game. And also you look at number 15, Centennial, going up and playing a 2-0 to Hatchby game up in the hill. That'll be a great game over in Taft. North is at Taft. Both teams 2-0. and Very intriguing there. So we'll look at all those games. We'll have action for you from 7 p.m. to 11 right here at Bakersfield.com tomorrow night. And then for B-Varsity Nightly, we'll be right back here on Tuesday night. So until then, you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you then.